Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. My name's Stephen. I'm going to tell you a little bit about motion detection today, show you how to set it up, what it is, and also a full demonstration of it working as well. Now, there's two main types of recording features. You've got continuous record, which basically means it records all the time, 24 hours a day. Then you get what's called motion detection, which is what we're going to talk about. So what motion detection does is it looks at a picture and if the picture doesn't change, it doesn't record. As soon as that picture does change, so like somebody entering the room, then it starts to record. So from a sort of hard drive storage space, that can increase quite dramatically because if it's, say you're only getting a month out of continuous record, motion detection, it's not recording all the time, so you could find it could last, say, six months. It really just depends how busy the rooms or the areas are that are getting recorded. If you, if you want, you can also you can actually mix and mix it up a little bit where you could have it continuous record, say, eight a.m. to eight p.m. and then after hours, it goes to motion detection. So when the motion detection kicks in, you can also set it up that if somebody moves in that area, it can send you a push notification to your mobile phone. When you receive that push notification, it'll also have like a wee video clip attached to it as well. So rather than going onto the app on your phone to try and play it back, it'll actually show you the exact event of when the incident happened. It's just a case that the event comes in, you just press play and you'll get a wee film clip on your phone. So it's quite smart uh, that way. Uh, it kind of makes things a little bit easier from the user side of things as well. But like I say, we'll show you it working here, how to set it up and uh, we'll take it from there. So at the main recorder, what you want to do is log into your machine. So you right click the mouse and you log in. So you, you might have a, a password or a pattern, really just depends how you've got your machine set up. I've got mine's automatically logging in at this point. Once you're in, along the top bar, you'll see system. So it's like a wee cog. If you left click the mouse, down on the left hand side, you'll see event. Click on that. Now. Along the sort of top here, you'll see motion detection, video tampering, etc. So it's on motion detection, that's what we want. What we're going to do for hours is we're going to set it up that at 8, at 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night, it's going to be on continuous record. Then out with those hours, it's going to go to motion detection. You can, you can make it motion detection 24 hours a day, every day of the week. It's up to you, but this is how we're going to set this one up at this point. So motion detection, click on that, then you have a drop down box, so you have a list of your cameras here, so I'm just going to use the top one in the area that I'm actually standing in. Make sure you enable it by putting a tick in the box. Now down here, you'll see a gridded box, now this is the, the camera obviously that we're working on. Now anything that moves in the grid will record. So I'm going to split my picture in half. So half of the picture doesn't record, and then when we move into the gridded section, then it starts to record. So all you do is remove the grid, click the mouse, and you just clear them out the way. Okay, so you can you can have boxes all over the place. It really just depends what you want to blank out and what you want to cover. So I'll just do that again. So take out half the picture. Come on. In the bottom here, there we go. Just make sure when you change it, right down the very bottom it says apply, make sure you click apply. So back up to the middle of the screen above the grid, you'll see arming schedule. So I'll just fill this in just to explain it a bit better for you first. Now, on this one, the motion detection is on basically 24 hours a day every day of the week, Monday to Sunday. So let's just say it's a business. Like I said, we, we're going to make it that the shop is open Monday to Friday, eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night. So we, we don't want to be getting notifications to our phone every time a customer comes into the shop. So what we do is we remove the hours and the days that we don't want to receive the notification. So just here on the screen where it says none, you just click on it. And see where Monday is, the blue grids here. We're going to clear out Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. because we don't want to know when people are walking about the place. 
So Saturday and Sunday the shop is always closed so it's always going to send us notifications as somebody moves around so that's fine I'm happy with that. Again you can you can make them whatever you want so if you want to say the shop was closed on a, a Wednesday you can put the Wednesday back in there it's really up to you what you want. Just remember when you change anything that you always click apply down at the very bottom. So next one along we've got linkage action so that's basically asking us what we want to do if there is notification if there's movement sorry so on this video we'll go for full screen monitoring that basically means if it was sitting with uh, all the cameras up on the screen when somebody moves on a specific camera it just brings up that one camera for five seconds i'll show you that working so full screen monitoring we'll have that on audible warning if somebody moves in the area of the camera the machine bleeps as well to let them know somebody's around Notify surveillance center, that's the push notification to the phone. I will tick that as well and we'll show you that working later. Send an email, so obviously send you an email if somebody moves and you can also upload pictures to, the, to your personal cloud storage as well. But the main three are really these ones at the top here. Just make sure you click apply. So that's that part set up. One other section we need to set up as well is over here. So working away from the top, you have your camera. So at the moment, it's set on continuous record, which is wrong because we want to set it on motion at night time. So remember, after hours, we want, we want it to be on motion. So all you do is click the green motion, draw your area, save on the other side. And also at the weekend as well because we're closed. You can make all the cameras individually different, as you see there. Go back up to the top one. Click apply. So that should be us on the setup. I just want to double check one thing. I just need to go back. I'm pretty sure we should be good to go. Yeah, okay. So like I say, if I'm moving in this area here, it's okay. Whenever I move over to the gridded area, all the nine pictures should change into one big one because it's picking you up on, that, on the camera. We should also get a, a noise from the machine, which you may or may not hear, I don't know it, because it's actually in another room. And we should get a push notification come through to the phone with a video clip. But I'll show you that, I'll, I'll basically attach that to the end of the video so you can see that working as well. So, move across, so this beeping has come up on the one camera, like I said, for five seconds. As soon as you clear it away, the motion stops. It should change back on its own. There we go. So I'll just show you that again. So when I'm moving in here, because this isn't the gridded area, it doesn't record. Whenever I move across in the grid, it's recording again and sending us push notifications. Okay? So that's really, I think they're all, all there is to say on that part. So on your mobile phone, whenever you receive the motion, detect motion detection at the site, a push notification should come through to the app. So I'm just going to demonstrate that just now. It'll take a second or two to come through. There you go. So that's the notification coming in. And what we'll get is we'll also get a film clip coming through with that as well. So down at the bottom, you see one notification. So if we just click on that. And up the top, it says event. So you see motion detection. It was from, in my case, the 5 megapixel PIR camera. But these would be labelled to your specification, whether it was the front of the house, you know, a business, it could be a workshop, whatever it's going to be. And you can just click on it and down the bottom, it tells you obviously the time as well and which camera it was yet again. And also if you click on the red playback, it should play back a wee bit of a film clip for you so you can see what's going on. Obviously it depends on how fast your internet speed is.
how long it takes to load up. This is me just talking at the beginning, so here we go. It is a little bit choppy at times, like I say, just because of the internet speed, but it lets you at least see what's going on, if it was a, a real alarm or not. Okay, so at the top left, we'll just click back and back again. And also, if you've seen the event and you're quite happy with that, just up the top, you click edit and you can just delete it, which is right down the bottom there. Right, that's it for today. Hope you found it helpful and it's all at our showroom in Dalgetty Bay, like I say. And you're welcome to come in and see it for yourself. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page because we have videos getting published all the time. Also on our website as well, sorry. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Take care.